Engaging learners with science is an important goal for science educators and communicators. But how can we achieve that goal without a common shared framework for understanding engagement? Working with schools, teachers, science centres and museums, we've developed the analogy that engagement with science is like a burning candle in which the flame is a product of the interaction between the candle, heat and air. The flame represents someone's engagement with science. How well it burns and whether it flickers or is constant will vary across settings and time. The candle is the everlasting fuel, what a person brings with them to the interaction. It represents a person's habitus, the dispositions and feel for the world produced through socialisation, and capital, their cultural, social, economic and science-related resources. The heat to spark the flame can be brought by the educator or science encounter. But crucially, it's the air, conditions and environments surrounding the candle that determine whether it stays lit and how brightly it burns. However well made the candle or how strong the heat source, a lack of oxygen or a strong wind may snuff the candle out. This is why settings such as a science classroom, museum or science club are so vital for feeding that flame. The candle analogy helps us to look at engagement holistically, acknowledging the wide range of social and contextual factors and interactions that all play a part. We can't just fix the candle or the match. To really improve learner engagement with science, we need to focus on the environment around the candle. This means looking critically at the key parts of the air, the role of organisations, science settings, power relations and the culture of science because they determine whether the flame of engagement can ignite and burn or not.